Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls. So I was taking the long way back to the blacksmith to upgrade one of my weapons. Uh, we picked up a a dark ember, which we can use to upgrade one of our uh, we have two plus five divine weapons, a mace and a longsword, and we can upgrade one of them, or both if we wanted to, but probably probably only gonna do one. Uh, we could upgrade it to an occult weapon. That is a thing that we can do now. Uh, on my way back, I remembered that we had a pretty easy time taking out the undead dragon in the Painted World. So we may as well take out his counterpart, the one who's kind of dangling off the side of the cliff here in the Valley of the Drakes. So we're going to do this. Uh, or, or maybe we're going to miss. That was a warning shot. So, okay, it looks like he can't hit me from here. And I can stay locked on to him. This will take a little bit. It shouldn't be too horribly bad. Uh, apologies if the sound is really loud here. I know this guy is pretty obnoxious because of the poison breath attack there. Alright. That was quite satisfying. That guy causes a lot of grief. It's good to finally be done with him. Alright. Uh, I don't feel like I want to take on a bunch of these drakes, though. Especially not with lightning. Uh, if you recall from a bajillion videos ago, these blue drakes down here actually do lightning damage. Uh, but worse than that, you're fighting them on this super narrow cliffside here, and you can get caught up in the geometry of their wings and their tail, and they can very easily knock you off the cliff. So... Just gonna run past this guy and try not to die. Same with his friend here. The second one's easier to get past, typically. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't feel like dealing with them right now. Almost walked right off the cliff there, again. Uh, and I'll go ahead and heal. So, here's our elevator. This will take us back up to the Dark Root Garden, uh, which is the forest area just below the blacksmith. So, we got a little ways to climb here. Um, we're gonna stop and rest. I picked up some more Twinkling Titanite along the way as well. So, I think this might be a decent time to repair equipment. Haven't done this in a while. And then we're going to probably upgrade a few pieces of armor. And let's see. So we need one more Titanite chunk to upgrade our arm, our hand armor to uh, plus nine, which would be pretty nice. So Shadow Garb, um, unfortunately, as cool and awesome and just sweet as the Shadow Mask is to look at, doesn't provide us with all that much defense. And I haven't upgraded the Shadow Leggings either. Let's see, we do have a, a piece of leggings that I started upgrading earlier. I want to see how those... Here, what they were. Brigand trousers. Alright. They keep us below our uh, our threshold for changing our movement speed. So, uh, I might stick with these. They seem to do to have a, a fair bit more defense. So, 25 physical, 22 magic. Let's see what we got down here. Oh. 
Yeah, so the ones that we have equipped right now are much better. Uh, and I... Uh, I gotta step back in out of these menus. Okay. So we're gonna upgrade the brigand trousers. We're just gonna use these for now. Much better defense for still keeping us below our weight limit. So I'm, uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, and then that'll let us upgrade our... Totally awesome ninja mask a couple times. And we will do our uh, torso armor once as well. So we're one titanite short of upgrading each of these again. Uh, that's okay. I don't expect that this is going to have a huge impact on our game, but, you know, if we can survive a hit that would have killed us otherwise, uh, I, I'm okay with that. That's a good upgrade in my opinion. As always, though, the goal is to try not to take the hits. Alright, um, no, we've never actually explored what's over here to the right. I, I think this might be a decent time to do so. We'll just head over here and check it out. Be wary of boss. Yeah, so there is a very nasty boss in this area. Uh, the boss is all the way down in that direction. Now, there's also some... Uh, yeah, you can maybe kind of see it moving through the fog all the way at the end of this corridor here. Yeah, really, really nasty little mini-boss down there. Now, these creatures... You see these big old golems? So these crystal golems... These guys can hit really, really hard. They're really slow. Uh, they have really high defense. And they hit hard. You really gotta be careful with these guys. They have a couple of nasty attacks. Uh, they do an up... Uh, yeah, they do an uppercut that can hurt. Uh, they can kind of grow little crystals, like we saw that one do just a moment ago. Oh boy. And that's the boss shooting at us. The boss, there's a little lake all the way down there at the end, and the boss sits in the lake and he shoots water, like water projectiles. Oh no. Ooh, almost fell off the cliff there. Okay. Uh, the dangers of locking on and not being able to move correctly. Okay. Uh... There we go. Pulling them down. The, the good thing about the boss's projectile attacks... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, these guys give hardly any souls for the amount of trouble they were in. Um, interesting thing about the boss's projectile attack down there. He shoots those water bombs. They can hit these golems just as much as they can hit me. Um, I'm actually not going to go down there and take on the boss. He's kind of nasty. We are, however... Hmm. Yeah, those golems are far enough away. I don't. I would rather... We'll see. I, I don't know how I'm going to take this guy on. I'm probably going to fight him up here in his area. So, up here, there's a tower. Pretty tall tower. Uh, up there's a bridge. That's actually the bridge that has the Hellkite Drake. The red dragon on him. Uh, that's where the Altar of Sunlight is for our covenant that we're in. It's where we offer the medals and it's where we join the covenant and whatnot. Uh... So, there's not not a boss, but a unique enemy in here. There he is. Hey, buddy. Uh, so, this is a unique hollow. Like a, kind of like a legendary hollow. Oh, no. Jeez. And uh, as you might imagine, that, that hammer of his, that weapon of his, is going to really hurt. It will completely flatten us if we get hit by it. So... The goal is to, to bait him into doing a big attack like that, then sneaking around and trying to backstab him. Uh, if we could actually do that. His attack staggers us a little bit, so it, that's what kind of is stuttering me, preventing me from really getting in there and getting backstabs. So, that armor of his, very, very heavy armor. Uh, a lot of people really like using it because you, you can get the set later in the game. But it means that this guy's not going to take much damage from us. So, I'm just going to keep strafing around, try to get these backstabs in. Luckily, we've upgraded our mace enough. You know, we're here late enough in the game that we're doing a pretty decent chunk of damage to him every time. So this isn't going to take too long. There we go. See, that wasn't so bad. 3,000 souls, and we got his ring. So that was Havel. Havel the Rock. 
and we got Havel's Ring. The ring will increase our maximum equipment load by a pretty large amount, I believe. I'm just going to take a look here. I'm not going to use it, I don't think. Yeah, Havel's Ring. So, increases your equipment load. So, it'll go from 64 to 96. So, that's, you know, 50% increase. Not bad, right? That'll let us wear some much, much heavier armor and... And, uh, you know, it'll raise our threshold so that we can keep our light movement speed. Uh, I'm not going to use it, though. I, I'm i okay with what we have equipped right now. I'm going to keep heading up here, just so we can see what this tower actually is. So we've been here before, we just haven't been down there before. Just going to take on this hollow here. Yeah, so this is the undead bird. So there's a crossbowman up in that tower there. There's a bunch of hollows. Uh, these are the stairs where a barrel was rolled down, and I failed horribly to dodge it. I ended up falling right off the cliff. So yeah, that's a that's a nifty little shortcut to get back down to the dark root basin area, forest. So. I think I enjoy rolling through barrels. Okay, now that I got that out of my system, we are going to head back to the forest. I was thinking earlier I was going to clear out the forest, but uh, there's an area that is very PvP heavy, and if you go in there as a human, which I, I was in human form at the time, then the covenants that protects the forest can summon a whole bunch of people to invade your world and drive you out of the forest. So it's a very, very common PvP area. And I don't know how strict the level restrictions are there, so I, I just didn't really want to mess with it at the time. I was in human form. Just decided not to deal with it, didn't want to go through the hassle, probably get invaded and get killed by people using, you know, more dedicated PvP builds. Uh, people who've kind of uh, maxed out their stats or, or uh, you know, perfected their stats and their armor and everything. Didn't want to mess with it, but right now we are not in our human form. So I think I'm going to proceed with that plan and go ahead go through that other area of the forest and take on the forest boss. Because there's actually two bosses. There's one, the uh, the Moonlight Butterfly, who we fought a bazillion years ago. That's the one that let us get the Divine Mace and... or we got, we got the Divine Ember, so we could upgrade to the Divine Mace. So that was pretty cool. Uh, there's actually a second boss, and the second boss is... I'm, I'm sure I mentioned this, but the second boss is required for the story. So we're going to have to fight him sooner or later. Uh, you know, might as well be sooner. So we're going to go try to take on the forest boss. Which means I'm going to fight my way through all these trees again. We've also upgraded our equipment pretty significantly since the last time we were here. So, I might go back through some of the areas we've been before and pick up some of the items that we've left behind. Uh, there was a, a bunch of items guarded by some of those uh, the stone giants that we encountered previously. There was a glowing item in the middle of a clearing and a bunch of signs around it labeled, you know, warning us of a trap that I avoided. Stuff like that. So, I think that'll be a pretty quick little detour before we go and fight... Sif. There we go. Gonna rest at this bonfire. I would love to kindle this bonfire. Uh, but unfortunately, that requires turning into a human, and I, as I just got done explaining, I don't want to do that. So yeah, we're gonna go in there later. I'm, I'm gonna come over here and get some of these items first.
So that was just a soul, but uh, it was a trap. We, we kind of get ambushed by some of these trees. Although these guys aren't that bad to take out, especially with our mace. Oh boy. Uh, gotta let my stamina regenerate, though. The only problem is the range they have on that whip attack that they do. Okay. Blooming purple moss clomp. Awesome. Those are quite rare, so good to get one of those again. We're going to head down here a little bit further. Uh, this is the area with the big old stone giants. The dudes in their big old stone armor. Pretty sweet. I love just like the mossy look, and I, I love how slow and deliberate these enemies are. Oh no. Okay. That wasn't so bad. He was about to cast his spell. The Tranquil Walk of Peace, which really slows you down, prevents you from dodging. Uh, and, you know, these guys aren't so bad when you can dodge around them. But when you take away the ability to dodge, yeah, they can become a bit of a pain. At the lower levels, uh, I'm not super worried about them right now. We're pretty upgraded from when we were last here. Yeah, three normal hits to take him out. Well, it looks like someone's having a little more trouble with them than I am. Let's see. Ah, uh, there's one more over here. Yeah, so I believe the item that we were after is actually guarded by two of these guys and a bunch of the trees two or three of the trees, which is the only reason that I didn't want to deal with it last time, is just because there's so many creatures. Yeah. Oh, I took a nasty hit there. Uh, that's alright, we'll just come back here and heal. All these creatures are pretty slow moving. So, not a huge problem to back away from them. Get a little breathing room if you need it. Yeah. Awesome, so it looks like we only woke up a few of them. So that's the elite knight set of armor. Yeah, so two more trees and another one of the giants over here. Oh, he's casting that spell. We got away, so I think I'm okay. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! I forgot that the spell persists around his body for a little while. Alright, good thing that bonfire was so close by. We're just gonna run back down there and grab those holes real quick. I do want to increase my damage output some more. Which means I do want to level up some more, so souls are important to me at this point. And oh yeah. Uh, now that we woke up that ambush, these trees are going to be here every time we try to walk down this little pathway. Which, I mean, they're really not that tough anymore. So that's not a huge problem, just something to be aware of. I mean, you know, as with every enemy in this game, if they get behind you, if you get flanked and caught unaware, it can be a bit of a problem for you. Alright, jump attack took him out. Let's run back over here to this side. Uh, I'll just deal with this guy real quick. Okay, so I can do that while he's standing up. That makes that a whole lot easier. Uh, I'll pick out number three here as well. I'm trying to get the timing down against those guys and figure out how early I can hit them. Okay. So, got our souls back. I'm going to go ahead and attack this thing again, just because why not?
I don't like those guys. They're very sneaky. Let's see if we killed him. Alright, back up over here. We're going to head through the other door. Um, this area is a little bit tricky and can be a bit problematic. So I'm going to go ahead. I think we have enough souls to level up, so I'm going to do that before we continue. Yeah, just barely. Um, I'm going to boost my faith a little more. 40 is a good cutoff point. I really want to get to 80, or uh, not 80, 50, 50 faith. That's kind of my long-term goal. That's about the point where I'm going to stop put, uh, putting points into faith, focus on other stats instead. Yeah, there's a lot of blood stains around here. It means there's probably a lot of PvPers. This area is definitely one of the prime hotspots for PvP. Also, just in general, it's super dangerous because there's a lot of these uh, unique hollow characters. These are basically NPCs who are in the Covenant protecting the forest. So these are members of the Covenant that you can join here. Oh man. And they're also just as dangerous as the PvPers, if not more so. And there's a whole variety of them. There's this knight, uh, there's a cleric, there's a, an archer, I believe, or like a rogue. Um, the rogue will parry you and whatnot, like we've seen before. There's a sorcerer. They drop a decent number of souls, right? So that's pretty awesome. This is a pretty good place to, you know, try and get lots of souls. But yeah, and this place is pretty active as well. All right, so there's the mage. Gotta get up close to him, but gotta be careful. Don't want to trigger any other creatures coming up. Oh, man. Oh, I was hoping I could get a backstab on him. Got him. Oh, and I got him staggered now. He's toast. Oh no, I missed the last one. I got greedy, I went for a big attack. Alright. So there's another one down. You also gotta be careful, you may have noticed that they're a bit foggy, a bit translucent. Uh, that's another perk of this covenant. There's an item that... Uh, there's a ring in this game that lets you kind of hide your body a little bit. It makes you translucent, harder to see, harder to detect. The Ring of Fog. And most of these NPCs, or a couple of them at least, are wearing it, I believe. Awesome. Alright, so we got a long distance lock on on this guy, so I'm going to throw a lightning bolt at him from far away. See if I can, yeah, did a... Oh, he's the cleric, of course. Oh boy. Uh, the bandit. Oh, and there's two of them. Oh boy, this is going to be trouble. Alright, I did manage to kill the healer, I believe. So don't have to worry about that one. Just these last two for now. Uh, we haven't found the archer yet. Oh man, gotta be really careful with this rogue. You don't want to let him get behind you. He will backstab you and do critical hits. Uh, as I mentioned, he can parry your attacks. This guy is quite dangerous. Oh, and his weapon has a bleed effect on it, too, so that's also very bad. He's very nimble, so I don't think I'm going to be able to hit him with my lightning spear. Yeah, he's got light armor. He's dodging around a lot. Oh, 
Trying to get a backstab on him. Okay. I'm gonna heal up that last little bit. Oh, I had him. Oh, I thought I had him staggered. He recovered a little too quickly. All right, at least it looks like we're only fighting him for now. They get really tough when you fight more of them at the same time. Obviously, that would make sense, right? Uh, there we go. Yeah, he's one of the most irritating of the phantoms to deal with in here, or of the NPCs to deal with. The archer's pretty nasty too. Uh, the archer has a crazy, crazy long range. We got to worry about. Um, getting to getting close to the archer is gonna be tough. I think that appears to be most of them. Now, um, I believe what I've done here, killing those NPCs, also automatically counts as a crime against this covenant, meaning that we cannot join this covenant, even if we wanted to. Uh, I don't. I'm happy with the covenant we're in. But we would not be able to join this covenant because we have committed a crime against its members. This cat here. Is it not so that thou art me? Thou fared well to find me. So this is the but leader of the covenant. Not for the grave of Sir Artorias. She's the protector of the My forest here. My advice true. Forget this. The legend of Artorias art none but a fabrication. Traversing the dark. Hm. Tis but a fairy tale. Have thine own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. No. Mm. I see. A result most heathenish nope. and cruel. We're gonna proceed. We and need to find Artorius' grave. Tedious reckoning. Be gone from here, pernicious caitiff. She uses some big words. Yeah, no, we're gonna keep trying to find Artorius' grave. Now we do need to go through here and go explore on the other side. I believe Archer's gonna be in the forest over here somewhere. So I'm gonna go exploring a little bit for some more of those uh, those NPCs. Make sure I cleared them all out. They're good experience, so no real reason not to fight them. Uh, I would also like to explore and look for any items that might be in here. There's a white glow over there that might be just uh, a little light. Oh, we got some trees back. Awesome. Oh, these guys are a little tougher to kill, too. So that might be an item over there. It might just be a glowing light. I don't know for sure. Oh, man, we got some more of these trees. Jump attack didn't kill him in one hit. Let's see if that kills him. Nope. Oh no. Okay, good. Alright, got him. Now these guys are significantly tugger tougher than the ones that we fought earlier. Also, yep, heard one sneaking up on me. Boy, there are a lot of these trees. Three hits isn't that bad, though. I didn't get hit by any of them, so that's also a good sign. Uh, was there another item over here? Just those two. Just those two, I guess. There, I took a hit. Alright. Ah, uh, here we go. This is the other item. Purple Moss Club. Oh, man, how many of these guys are there? Apparently the answer to that question is always more. Okay. Are we done?
Nope. Still not done yet. Uh, there's two now, so I... You gotta be careful. Alright. Ooh, blooming purple moss clump. That's great. I love getting those. Alright, so this is an item, in fact. Let's see what we got. Eastern armor set. Uh, that's supposed to be, like, reminiscent of samurai armor. It's pretty cool. There's orange messages down there. Let's see, I believe that's just down in the Darkroot Basin, uh, where we entered from the Valley of the Drakes. Off in that direction, so... Yeah. Yeah, that seems about right. Okay, I think we're done exploring on this side. For the most part. There's something rumbling in the background. Oh. Oh, man. These guys just hopping to the side. It's no good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not a third one. Really need to start killing some of these guys quickly. This is getting a little out of hand. Awesome. Took one of them out. Not quite sure how I hit him because he was behind me. But I'll take it. Alright, all three of them dropped moss. That's awesome. All right, yeah, so there's a like a rumbling or a splashing or some sort of strange noise down here below us. On the other side of this cliff. Maybe a waterfall? Maybe definitely a waterfall. There's a waterfall down there. Ah! And there you can see the Hydra in the water. So, yes, many-headed snake creature, dragon monster, monster, just, just monster. Just leave it a monster. Um, so, let's see if I can see this without falling off. Uh, that's the lake. That's the Hydra. The Hydra is the one who is spitting water at us. So we were over here. Um, that one of those towers, probably that tower, is the one that had Havel the Rock inside. So uh, yeah, that's the area we were just in, and that's the mini boss of the area, that Hydra. Uh, we're not actually in his area still, so I don't think he can actually hit us up here. Uh, that is not a theory that I want to test out though. So I am not going to hang about here. Also, it's kind of killing the frame rate to look at it, or just to be near him in general. Um, we didn't encounter the archers. The archer must be over on the other side once we get past the covenant leader. Oh. And I fell. And I'm going to eat those words now, aren't I? We're going to run into the archer here in just a moment. Maybe? Maybe not. Ah, there he is. I knew he was around here somewhere. Oh, and he's got a guardian as well. This is unfortunate. So another knight, just like the first one that we fought. Except now we have an archer shooting at us as well. Which is not good. I'm going to see if I can lure this knight over here into the forest a little more. Away from that archer. Awesome. Alright, I staggered him. Oh no. Woo. That was very close. It's alright. They're still alive. There, and I finally got a backstab on one of these guys. Awesome. Oh man, it's so satisfying to take these guys out. They are really tough customers. Archer, now I've lost track of where he was. He was up here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, and I almost knocked him off the edge. Kinda glad I didn't, though. Oh! 
And he rolled off the edge on his own. That's silly. Yeah, so there's a there's a chasm there. There's a, a river of some sort running down there below us. Let's see. Uh, I believe the archer actually drops his bow. He fell off the edge there, so we're not going to be able to get that bow. Uh, if we save and quit, or if we just, you know, come back here at a later date, uh, where his corpse would spawn, like where he would spawn normally, will be the item. So, you know, it's not lost forever. Uh, you know, I'm not much of an archer in this game, not with this character, so no real reason to come and get that. Okay. Just checking to make sure that there's no more creatures over there. No more of those evil NPCs. So here we are. We've uh, we finished our loot through the area. So yeah, we're going to come back in here. We're going to cross over to the other side. And we're going to explore the other side of the forest. Uh... That's actually going to have to wait till next time. So, yeah. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I hope to see you in the next video.